Traffic was backed up for hours this morning on Interstate 70 in downtown St. Louis after a teenager was hit and killed by a car. The 17 year old was wanted for escaping from juvenile detention earlier this year and investigators say he was trying to escape police <coughs> as they worked to recapture him. Five on your side's Alex Fee spoke to the teen's relatives who initially thought the 17 year old had been struck by a police car. Alex. And Mike, the, the 17 year old's aunt, Sophia Martin is her name, tells me that his name was Martez Sipes. Now, police say he was struck not by a police car, but by a passing motorist on I-70 behind me as he was running across the interstate, allegedly fleeing police. Police say Sipes escaped from juvenile detention back in September, and surveillance indicated that investigators could find him in this area this morning. This was, this was an ongoing investigation by our intelligence division, and they had determined where the suspect was, and they were, like I said, they were doing undercover uh, surveillance following the car. Skylines 5 shows a scene near Broadway and Biddle, just north of downtown St. Louis. 17-year-old Martez Sipes, who police say escaped from juvenile detention in September, was struck by a passing motorist and killed while running across I-70, trying to escape police. At the time his aunt talked to us, she believed Sipes had been struck by a police car. He ain't number 17! His name is Martez Sipes! And he dead! That's what's wrong! He landed in the middle of 70 and Broadway dead! Chief Hayden says Sipes was struck by a passing motorist. Both suspects got out of the car and were up here, right, not, not too far where we're standing right now, running back and forth, dodging in, in and out of oncoming traffic that's traveling northbound. Both persons then go back down this encampment, this, this embankment, run down there into oncoming westbound traffic, and the suspect who had escaped, we believe, who, the suspect who we believe had escaped was struck by a vehicle at that time. Hayden says the driver did stop and told police she could not avoid hitting Sipes. I would rather for him to be locked up, man. I would rather for him to get time, but not to have a funeral plan. Now, police say Sipes was being held in juvenile detention back in September on three charges, assault, tampering with a motor vehicle, escape or attempted escape from custody with a deadly weapon. The woman, the driver of the vehicle who was allegedly with him this morning has not been found. Live tonight, north of downtown, Alex Fees, five on your side.